Hi guys, it's Ingita. Welcome to my channel. How are you doing? I'm posting after a really long time because I was busy moving and I'm still not done moving. I am in this place temporarily and then I'll be moving out and hopefully that'll be it and I won't move for another year or so, hopefully. We'll see how that goes, but right now I am in the middle of the city and my room is right next to a very busy street so i apologize if you hear traffic in the background in this video i'm going to review the last house on needless street by catriona ward when i was reading this story i thought i knew exactly where the story was going i knew exactly what was happening but boy was i wrong I would have never guessed the ending of this book. So nothing was as it seemed in this book. And mind you, the big revelation is at the very end of the book. So it is one of those books where you need to have patience, where you think you know everything and you might at times feel unmotivated to read, uh, although the writing is really good and that might keep you going. But trust me, I felt like I was handsomely rewarded for my patience and it's a beautifully written story the storytelling is just amazing and again you won't realize how good the storytelling is until the very end of the book it's an amazing mystery thriller in this story several years ago a five-year-old girl goes missing when she goes to the beach with her family. The police investigates, but the investigation leads them to a dead end and the case goes cold. But years later, the sister of the missing girl is determined to find out what happened to her sister. And she has this one person on her radar who she strongly believes is responsible for the disappearance of her sister. And this man's name is Ted. Now, Ted is a strange guy. He lives with his daughter, Lauren, and a cat named Olivia. And behind his house, there are these woods in which Ted has buried a secret. He basically fits the bill of someone who might be responsible for kidnapping a child. And like I said, the storytelling is ingenious. There are a few chapters from the cat's perspective, which I thought were so strange. Uh, the cat's point of view was just bizarre and the cat seemed just as strange as the guy Ted. When the story ended, I was so heartbroken for one of the characters in the book. It was hard to fathom what I had just read. And like I said, when the story ended, I ran through all the things that had happened in the book through my head and it was almost like I had a brand new story now after reading this one story that I thought I knew and then another which was actually the truth. Yeah, so what can I say? There were two stories in one book. What more can I ask for? As you can tell, I did enjoy reading this book. It's atmospheric. The tone in the book was so calm, which was eerie because I knew there was something really dark lurking behind the calmness. And that made this a really atmospheric read. Yeah, it is definitely one of those stories that made me slow down and focus on every sentence in the book because it was just laced with strangeness like everything was so strange but nothing was as it seemed in this book so this is definitely a book where you'll be surprised so it's a great mystery thriller okay that concludes my review for this book do let me know in the comments down below if you have read this book or any other book by Catriona Ward. And also let me know the book that you are currently reading. And thank you for watching this video. Like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Until then, happy reading.